A coalition of organizations in our area is calling on, on the government to help people trying to leave Afghanistan. The group urged officials to approve the many humanitarian parole applications. That would allow people to enter the U.S. due to an emergency. Bria Love joins us now with the very latest. Bria? Well, Walt, typically U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services gets 2,000 of those applications every year with between 500 and 700 approved. Now, since July, it's seen more than 40,000. Now, 160 of those are conditionally approved, more than 900 denied. That's less than half a percent. And this morning, organizations like NorCal Resist and Afghan residents spoke up to bring change. That includes a worker from the Sacramento Refugee Resettlement Agency. The Afghans that are here, these are people who sacrificed uh, for, for our sake, for the sake of the U.S. government, for all of our families, um, and put their lives and the lives of their families and all their relatives at risk for the work that they did day in and day out. And what they're asking for now is really support for their family members who are left behind and for the government and all of us to do our responsibility to not forget them and, and to make sure that they are, they are safe. So this coalition is demanding the federal government process and grant those applications for the many Afghans who are feeling fearful for their lives as they're still waiting on an answer. Well